All right, uh, job done here at CrossFit Hydro. Um, I'm going to continue our nutrition seminar series with uh, a short video um, seminar on uh, supplements. Uh, we know that uh, a lot of folks ask Justin and Joe and the other coaches about supplements after class, see other um, athletes with shaker bottles and whatnot, and so we're gonna address a little bit about um, supplementation, um, how it can be used, uh, some post and pre-workout supplementation as well as general life supplements. Um, the number one thing I want to talk about in, in this, the very beginning, is uh, real food is what we should focus on. So clean, real food, um, meats, vegetables, nuts, seeds, um, starch, uh, fruit, those are the things we should be focused on eating. Um, and it should minimize our need for um, any kind of supplements, but we certainly can augment um, uh, what we eat uh, with some supplements to help uh, our recovery as well. That's not All right, so we're going to talk about um, two primary supplements that I think are the basics. Um, again, whole foods are the focus. Um, you really don't have to supplement, um, but you can if you have a busy life. Um, there are foods you don't like. So let's start with one that's really simple on that foods you don't like thing or you don't eat enough. Um, uh, Omega-3 fatty acids from fish uh, or taking fish oil supplements um, is a pretty basic um, supplement that you can do. The reason for that is it reduces inflammation. Um, it actually can also be seen as a helpful for your cardiovascular health. Um, so reducing inflammation is because you generally want to have more omega-3s than omega-6s. The standard American diet tends to have be high in omega-6 fatty acids and lower in omega-3 fatty acids. Um, fish and certain nuts are higher in omega-3s. If you don't eat a lot of that, then you supplement with it. So you want to take a high quality um, fish oil supplement. These are just two examples. One is a Megaplex from Advocare. Another is a krill oil um, supplement from, from Costco. Um, you want to focus on high amount of DHA and EPA. Um, those are the two uh, omega-3 fatty acids that are um, very helpful for reducing inflammation um, and cardiovascular health. So uh, again, you don't have to buy some super expensive liquid fish oil from the supplement store. You certainly can do that. You don't have to. You can you know, buy a fairly affordable one from Costco um, uh, uh, or some other supplement providers that provide a very affordable um, supplements. That reduction of inflammation is actually, um, I use it as an example, you know, people take a lot of uh, um, Advil, something like that, right? Um, what it's doing is reducing inflammation. This is a natural, healthy way to reduce inflammation in your body and help your body regulate that. So that's the first sort of most basic one. Again, if you eat a lot of fish, um, you, you probably don't need to do this. Um, you eat fish three, four, five times a week, so you, you may not need to supplement this way. Um, the other one that people see in the gym a lot is um, post-workout protein and carbs. So post-workout, the general rule is you want two to one carbs to protein uh, for post-workout recovery. Um, carbs help replace your glycogen stores, muscle, uh, or uh, protein helps support muscle um, rebuilding because essentially what you're doing in your workout is tearing your muscles down and then you rebuild those and that's how you build greater strength and muscle endurance. Um, so you can do that through things like um, Revive RX as a pre-mixed uh, recover, um, it's two to, already pre-mixed two to one carb to, to protein. You'll notice, um, I think Justin posted about this in the nutrition group a while back. Uh, Marcus Philly, who's a games athlete, uh, actually is the founder of this. Um, you can go with a standard um, uh, protein that's just protein like Progenix um, or uh, Op Nutrition or any, any other um, protein. I have this here because it's what Susie takes because she likes it. It tastes good. That's the number one recommendation I make, you, I, I make with protein. Find one that you like. <laughs> it's affordable in your budget and you, and you like drinking it. Um, uh, you can then fill that in, if you don't buy a pre-mixed one, you can fill that in with things like bananas or other carbs right after a workout. Um, or you can buy straight up carbs, this is something that Joe has, it's actually just carbs, he mixes it in with his protein. Um, sometimes he actually will use it into workout because he'll do longer workouts, so you may want carbs in the middle of your workout as well. Uh, so those are some things you can do. Again, um, these are replacements when you don't have time for real food. One of the reasons why people take things like carb and protein supplements immediately following a workout is the idea is to consume that within one hour of working out, get it in your system faster. Um, so that's the reason why people will do those immediately post-workout. Your fish oil can be taken anytime during the day. It doesn't really matter when um, uh, those are taken. So those are sort of the basics that I would tell people, hey, that's if you just want to sort of start to dabble, 
because you got a busy lifestyle with what you should be taking beyond real food, that's where you'd start. There are some other supplements I'm going to talk about now. Um, those are not necessary, but a little bit about what they are and why people take them.